This is Daniel Cook making a holiday ornament. Ho, ho, ho. Hi, I'm here with Janie, and today she's going to teach me how to make an ornament. Hi, Janie. This is Daniel Cook on a bike, in a plane, on a farm, playing games with many places and friendly faces. We'll have lots of fun with Daniel Cook. How do you make this? Well, we're going to do all kinds of neat things, but we're going to start off with a styrofoam cone. Ooh. And then you're going to help me cut out all kinds of circles, and we're going to slide them down over the cone, and then you get to decorate it with all kinds of really cool stuff. Okay, these are the small ones, so you get two of those, and I get two of those. So if you want, you can start cutting them out. See the circle that's there? Yeah. If you want to take those scissors and start cutting them out. But when you're working with felt, you know, you don't have to work with really, really sharp scissors. Do you mind if I help you? You sure? Helping people makes makes everything go faster. It does. <laughs> so you start with the largest one and you fold it in half like this. Okay. Yep. And then you fold it in half again. This is so you can find the middle of your circle. And you get your handy scissors. Mm -hmm. And you just cut just a wee little bit off the end of it. Like so. You want to do that? There you go. Awesome. See, now you've got the middle. Now fold it back in half like this. We're going to do exactly the same thing. Only going up? Only going up, yep, the other direction. Do I do it right? Yep. The best way to find out if it fits is you go like this. Yep, you got it. And because felt is pretty stretchy, you can really tug it so that it goes all the way down to the bottom. You need, to, you need a, a lot of big muscles to do this. Yep. Just be careful, because it does... It's a good thing out. I have some. There you go. You sure do. There you go. That's enough. So now we're going to take the next large round one that's just plain, and we're going to do exactly the same thing on every single one of them. Da! This crowd's a lot of fun. Now your last one here... We're going to cut, we're going to do the same thing where you're going to fold it in half and you're going to just take the little nip off the top like we did the last time to find the middle. Now just open it one open. Just let it open so it's halfway. Okay? Ooh. That's it. Open it up sideways. That's it. Now on the half, you're just going to cut right in half. That's it. All the way to the end. Like that? You got it. Now we're going to take some more glue. So grab some glue. And we're going to put some glue on this side here. Now you're going to take the part that doesn't have glue on it, and we're going to fold it over so that we're going to see how it makes a hat as you're folding. Like this? That's it. And then it sits on the top. Hey, Daniel, before we start decorating, what about a little snack? That sounds like a great idea. Yeah, I think so, First too. First, let me put start on Hot chocolate. There we go. That was a good snack. Should we get decorating now? Yeah, I think we better. This is Daniel Cook decorating his holiday ornament. Now, we've got all kinds of neat stuff here. We've got... Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Lots of bells. So let's get some glue on this plate here. Because I'm going to make lights. Doink. Is that where all your lights are going to go? Yep. Cool. Doink, doink. Here come the lights. The prettiest lights. It helps us sing while you're making the craft. How do I get bells to stick on without rolling it on in all the glue? <laughs> if you just take the, the back of the glue like this, see? And you put a good blob of glue on there on the back. There we go, see? And then you give it a good press. Is that the snow? Yeah, it is. It's really cool stuff. It smells funny, Ooh, doesn't it? <laughs> you think it would smell like whipped cream. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> Looks like whipped cream, but it's not. It doesn't taste like it. How do we put it on? Well, you can put it on with your finger, or you can use a stick like this. And you put it along the edges, like when trees are all covered in snow. The edges usually get it because the snow slides all down. So you put it on the little on the edges of the tree, and then you I can't get this. 
you use your finger. And you just kind of poke it on. I think it's more like a blurred. It definitely looks like a blizzard, and you look like you have whipped cream fingers. Ah, this is what crafts are for, getting all messy. Yeah, that's the fun part. Tournament. I think so too. I think you did a terrific job. When you get snow on the star, that means you're finished. I think so. <laughs> I think you got it, kiddo. Thank you so much, Daddy, for teaching me how to make this really cool ornament. I had so much fun. I'm glad you had a good time. It was nice meeting you. Thank you for coming and learning how to do it. Mm -hmm.